you know, I think the end of the season really uh, we, we came together, found a way to uh, to improve, uh, really started to play uh, more like a, uh, a team, and uh, we saw some some guys emerge. Uh, I think we're we're very proud of the way we finished, uh, especially uh, where we were, maybe coming out of the Christmas break. But um, I think uh, overall, uh, you know, we we expect uh, better, and I think uh, you know the end of the season uh, would suggest that. Uh, you know that we're going to be better going forward. Uh, we really played well in some games that we didn't win in, uh, but it really was the impetus for us going forward to really uh, make the turn and, and you know put some games together. It was a team change. I think it was an attitude change. I thought uh, our goaltending, our special teams, especially our, our power play, uh, really started to come on at the end of the season. Um, we played some some pretty good hockey early on. We really struggled to score goals. Uh, later in the season, we started to score goals, and I think uh, you know that positive feeling and that positive attitude carried into a point where, at the end of the year, we felt uh, going into the game we were going to win every night. And I think that's uh, really the attitude you need to have as a winning team. I think the the BU win and the Bean Pot, uh, even though it was a consolation game, was really uh, a, a turning point for us. I think we were able to uh, get that win and then bring it back into our league play. And uh, some of the wins we had at the end of the season. Uh, you know our ability to fight back from uh, you know some seesaw games where uh, you know where where we were scoring or chasing from behind uh, things that we weren't able to do early on in the season. I, I think down the stretch, uh, certainly our uh, our series versus Clarkson uh, was was a high point, and uh, and I thought the way we played against uh, Dartmouth uh, in general was was very positive. Anytime. Uh, you know, you have success. There's always uh, a lot more uh, players that kind of rise to the top and are, are playing their best hockey. And I think that was certainly the case with our, our seniors. Uh, I thought goaltending. Uh, you know, Ryan Carroll stepped up and was was uh, was excellent uh, down the stretch for us. Chris Huxley, I think, was a real key component to our power play. You know, going from uh, and also ran to uh, I think third overall in the league and really uh, an impact. Uh, you know, positive impact for us. Michael Del Morrow, I think, uh, really not only with his intensity, which he always brought, but really started to show up on the score sheet. And uh, Michael Bayega, I thought, uh, you know, really elevated his game. Well, I think Danny Bayega had an outstanding season. Uh, the numbers would suggest that uh, he had one of the better seasons uh, in, in recent history for Harvard hockey uh, defensemen. I, I think. Uh, you know, with our record, maybe he didn't get the the honors uh, that he probably deserved, but uh, he was an impact player for us uh, on both ends of it. Well, I think that uh, Alex Colon made some great progress this year. I think, uh, you know, Alex has always been a talented uh, offensive player, and and uh, we finally started to see the numbers that uh, equated with the with the amount of work he was putting in the talent, and uh, uh, especially in the second half of the season. We felt we had one of the best players on the night on the ice every night. We think we have a team, uh, you know, uh, in, in the kids coming in and the guys returning, uh, that is going to be uh, fun to watch. Uh, should be an exciting team, uh, you know, able to, you know, play a high tempo uh, offensive style. And uh, you know, uh, the emergence of our, of our, some of our younger guys uh, in the last third of the season, especially, uh, gives. Uh, you know, I think gives uh, the coaching staff and gives the players great hope. I think there's a uh, uh, quite a few guys that uh, you know, whether you're talking about uh, you know Alex Falstrom or Connor Morrison or you know or Marsha Levison, uh, uh, Brendan Rempel uh, on the blue line. I, I think there's a whole group of guys that uh, that really you know made a big turn in the positive di direction in the last third of the season, and uh, and we hope that. Uh, you know, there's a whole handful of guys that will have a coming out party next year and be a huge part in our success. You know, to me, I think our guys uh, ended the season with with great excitement, looking forward to, you know, to recreating, uh, you know, the stretch run that we had, and you know, taking that all the way through the season. And uh, so, I think our guys are excited to get into their, you know, their spring and summer workouts, and I think uh, they're eager to get on the ice and really have a great season going forward.